One of the things we in Vishwa are very proud of is our R&D group. And they have many successes to their credit, achievements in the area of research and development. This pertains to processes, new ideas, blending technologies, evaluation of fuel quality, benchmarking, and so many areas. And I'm happy and proud to discuss and present a brief list of what has been achieved so far. Number one, we had a EFN for high sulfur fuel. We have now uh, computed a new EFN for VLSFO fuels. So hereafter, the user of VLSFO fuel will know whether the fuel is, is of poor quality or average quality or above average quality, which will be a great help when a lot of VLSFO fuels are in the market and uh, the choice is going to be difficult. <coughs> Number two, it's possible for us now to calculate the equivalent CTAIN number, ECN, without using the expensive FIA instrument. This is a new development and uh, uh, we are very proud of this achievement. Number three, just like there is a engine friendliness number or a true worth index for fuels, we have now developed a loop quality index for loops. This is divided into two groups. One is for loop quality index of hydraulic oils and the second one loop quality index for engine oils. The next one, we have commenced a VG education center and we are starting with the VLSFO fuels and we have already placed on the website 11 lessons on VLSFO fuels. What are these fuels um, and how, 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 how are they uh, uh, how do they compare with other fuels? What are the problems with these fuels? So on and so forth. Eleven lessons. Each lesson will contain a text and a set of questions. And uh, we will direct you to go to a website to learn all about this. And there will be more pictures and uh, other things added to these lessons. This is now currently a more basic version which will get more and more sophisticated with time. Then we have carried out YouTube and WebEx presentation on fuel related issues. Some of the topics we have addressed are likely problems with VLSFO fuels and suggested solutions. VLSFO fuel characteristics, then benchmarking VLSFO fuels, EFN and TWI, and compare this with the benchmarking of HSFO fuel with EFN and TWI. Then we have loop quality index for hydraulic oils, loop quality index for engine oils. And we are also looking at ECN FIA connections. Then, in addition to this, as a major achievement, the R&D group has brought out a compendium on 2020 fuels. This is a huge compendium running to more than 430 pages. 
So this contains uh, almost every detail about the 2020 fuels and various agencies how they have evaluated this fuel such as Intertanko, such as Class NK and so many and th those are listed. In addition to this, the IMO itself has come up with so many guidelines and so much of information on this ISO fuel. All of them are available. So there is a section which you can call as the nuggets where the important points or re with regard to the fuels are there. Then there is a section where the evaluation of these fuels by various agencies are there. And the third section is all the IMO regulations and advisory services and, and, uh, uh, and, and, and recommendations and guidelines of IMO in the last section. Altogether, it's a reference book which you can use for forever. And you will find everything there and what is, uh, we had made sure that almost everything that you need is listed in that book, in that compendium. So these several items I listed are the areas in which the R&D group is working. There are many more items which I have not mentioned here. But in view of the 2020 fuels, the imminent introduction of 2020 fuels full scale, what we have done on the fuel side, we thought we'll bring it to your notice for you to appreciate where we are and to always consult us if you need any help. Thank you and good luck with your VLSFO fuel experience.